You know, I think that's the line that got the song cut by Reba. Uh, I remember we were one line away with that song. And Bruce Birch is such a great writer. Bruce said, I don't know, I have this line. I'm not sure if it's really good or not. And I said, well, what is it? And I fell off my chair. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, that is so the line. I, I, you know, I think that's the line that got the song cut by Reba. I mean, that's one of those lines that make it makes your hair stand up on end. Because I, I was going to leave the theater world to write country music. They thought I was crazy. And they thought that a girl from Brooklyn is never, come on, Liz, a girl, they're not going to embrace a girl from Brooklyn. So when um, a record does come out and it's a hit, you've gone to number one, the royalties are coming in. How do you treat yourself? Like what do I treat myself? How do you treat yourself? Yes. Oh, golly. Well, how I treated myself in the old days and how I treat myself now are different. Um, In the old days, I would go to Vegas. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> and put a uh, $1,000 on black. Those days are gone. What's in your song rotation? Ariba, of course, some old Brooks and Dunn. Oh, yeah. Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen. 